Welcome guys, if you're not aware I actually have a crime channel as well where I do tarot readings, spirit sessions and case analysis. If you're interested, subscribe guys, there's a link in the description box below. I'll see you over there. Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be here. I hope you're all doing really well. And this is the Divine Weekly Guidance that I obviously do weekly. Um, they are timeless readings, so I've got many in the playlist if you'd like to look at them after this one. There's some amazing messages that come through each week, and I really love it because I never know what's going to come through. Sometimes I'll do a pick a card reading, other times I'll just get into a message. Today I'm just being drawn to get into a message. I'm using the astrology cards by, uh, who is it by actually? L Alison Chester Lambert and Richard Crooks. And we've got Sandra Ann Taylor's Energy Oracle. I'm pretty sure. Is that Sandra Ann Taylor? I've got to make sure I've got the right person here now. Ah, uh, yes, they are. Thank God, because I know I've got another deck of hers. And my Divine Oracle that I created. If you're interested in this deck, because I know I've got, it's got a lot of uh, interest from people and a lot of people have purchased it. Uh, if you like the illustrations, there's like I think there's 78 cards in here and they're beautiful coloured um, pictures on here and each one has their own little message, okay. So if you're interested in those, thank you for your interest. Thank you to those who have purchased them already. They are available at makeplaincards.com and the link is in the description box below, guys. Thank you. We're looking at purple again this week. So bizarre. Um, not that these are all purple cards, but it's just interesting, the blue-purple kind of theme coming through um, again. So interesting. Got indigo, throat colour. I just saw an orb um, and the crown chakra, which is interesting. So let's have a look. What do we need to know this week, please? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Come on, let's see. What do we need to know? Oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> you know me. I'm such a weirdo. I get so excited. Man holding a heart, guys. This is a masculine energy. So it looks like there could be romance for some of you. Okay, it could be um, that somebody hears from their soulmate or twin flame or you're meeting somebody. Could be a new love coming in this week. Um, for a lot of you, you might be hearing from someone you haven't heard from in a long time. And someone might be, you know, telling you how they feel finally. Uh, someone might have a masculine with longish hair like that looks like this. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I think it's a gorgeous energy right here. So the four and the five, let's have a look here. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Fours are all about stability, security, and it's the homely energy. So I feel like your person, you know, for this person coming in, it's going to feel like home to you. This person feels like a warm home. You know how some people do say, or oh, they feel like home, or like, I'm at home with this person. It feels like coming home when I hug them kind of thing. Um, that's what it would feel like with this person. And <clears throat> we've got the number five, which is all about change. It's pr uh, unpredictable. So <laughs> as I said, it could be adventurous, could be something definitely unexpected coming into your life. And yeah, for those of you who are open to that, so this is just one message in the whole reading. There's going to be other messages that do come through today, but this is just a special message for those of you that there is a lot of love this week, a lot of romance. You might go on a date, you might get an invite to something, there might be a reunion of some sort, uh, a deep and meaningful conversation being had, but somebody has deep feelings for you. Whoops. And we've also got here all tied up, storm warning and financial constraints. So this could be a, a separate message altogether that somebody is feeling a little um, restricted. Now, it could be connected to this in terms of, you know, this opportunity coming through for you and you're in a position where you're just not feeling very good in yourself right now. There might be a lack of self-esteem, might have financial restrictions, things that are just... Um, you know, feeling a little bit like an emotional storm, but you know, as a separate message, this could be just saying that some people this week might find some things a little challenging when it comes to their money, their spending, abundance. Um, there might be unexpected, like a whirlwind coming in. That's really, t you know, um, what am I saying? Like, um, like an unpredictable energy coming through. That's, um, 
might be an unexpected expense you know I want to say there's good things coming in this week there can be but obviously we're not all having like you know it's not always great always 100% of the time so it's just showing you that there could be an unexpected expense that could stop you from going on doing you know the things that you want to do maybe there's something you're planning on doing and then this this expense has come in or there's something going on there so it can last temporarily because as we know with the storm warnings I just saw an orb and then I'm feeling that air around my legs again for some of you who know I do get that like real cold air around my legs sometimes which spirit is coming in um but yeah this is just a confirmation I feel that you know with the storm it's only temporary it comes and goes so don't stress out too much if there's something that you're feeling that is restricting you, you know, and getting you down. Um, yeah, because I feel like there's something that needs to change around money and we just need to not be afraid to reach out to someone uh, if we need to because all tied up kind of reminds me of the Eight of Swords energy as well where we might feel like we're stuck in a bind and we just can't get out of something and, and it's just doom over us, it's looming over us. But I, I feel like this this is just a temporary thing, okay? Two and the three is a five. So it's unexpected, it's change, it's movement. Number 10 is also, when we look at it, an ending and beginning. So once again, the, you know, being the 13 too, which I often see the 13 as the death card in the tarot, can talk about, um, you know, letting things go. So counting our losses and starting afresh, okay? So let's see, what other messages do we have here for this week? That could just be for some of you. But pay attention to the signs coming in from the universe just to let you know that, hey, it's okay. You're going to be okay. These things come in at times to test us, you know, our resilience, um, their lessons, and yeah, things do happen that we, we often find a bit scary and we do have the fear of the unknown and if we're going to be okay in life, are we going to survive? And you are because we are survivors. Now you could literally, uh, literally see feathers in your path. This situation involves future or current children for some of you. Now, this could be a message to do with the masculine coming in. For some of you, there could be this love and a family life to have. Um, you know, that could be something here. It could be that some of you do have children and you're worried about the future and just expenses and things like that. How are they going to be in this world that we're living in where things are changing so much and expenses are rising? So there could be a lot of fears around our children and how they're going to make it in the world um, as well. It's just one aspect. Um, but I feel like for some of you too, there's a sign for fertility, wanting to um, fall pregnant, you know, um, that's something very significant for some of you, a specific message especially, that there, there could be a pregnancy coming in for some of you, maybe even literally this week you find out um, or it's in the making. Um, but I also feel that for some of you, you know, who've never been able to have children, I'm sorry if that's happened for you. It could just be that that's where you're at, feeling a little lonely, a little lost in life, feeling a void. Um, and sometimes our animals, you know, whether it be not being able to uh, fall pregnant or just, you know, our, our children have left the nest or there's some kind of estrangement or whatever it might be. Uh, you could be, you know, around other people's children or bringing for our animals into your path to look after and nurture. That's just some other thing here coming in. Um, but we do see also self-worth. This goes back to self-worth and where our, you know, are we in a poverty mentality? Um, is it something that we've learned from our childhood? You know, is it something from our parents that has been ingrained in us about fear over money? There could be things like that coming through as a test, as a lesson uh, as well. <clears throat> but look, your dreams hold sacred messages visualize your dreams into reality so your dreams hold sacred messages in other words what we in, have seen like what we see in our mind and what we visualize can actually turn into reality so what it's saying is that when we dream and when we imagine things okay when we imagine and dream big amazing things can actually manifest into our life so we need to keep focused on what it is we do want not all the things that are going wrong and tap into your creative spirit. So it's interesting with the white feather and we've got a white bird here. So you could be seeing a significant white dove, 
or a white bird um, in your path, you know, um, that could be just something that comes into your life this week to remind you to just be free spirited be, be free spirited tap into your creativity i can't speak tap into your creativity do things that make you happy that are going to help raise, raise your vibration over any fears you might feel so if you feel like you're dwelling on something and you're really worrying about something try and change it maybe put some music on you know relaxing music uplifting music just try and divert your attention away from you know the fears it's not to say to forget or ignore any issues that are coming up for you that you need to deal with but it's about not dwelling on the negatives and the fear we don't want to get into that fear-based mode so um, it's really important to detach detach from that and realize this is only temporary it's going to get better very soon you are almost there so wherever you're trying to be right now whether it be literally from one place to another, physically moving or traveling or going on a holiday or just trying to complete something in your life, you are almost there. Um, you are almost there at the end of a cycle as well, uh, at the end of a chapter. You are almost there. You can see over the horizon right here as to what it is you want to complete, what it is you want to achieve. Um, and it can sometimes feel like we're hitting a brick wall constantly to get there. Um, but just keep going, keep striving for it, keep focused um, and keep having that faith because it's usually at the time, and I said this in the last reading, I'm pretty sure, it's usually at the time where we feel like giving up when something miraculous around the corner is about to occur. So don't, don't give up. And someone you love is thinking of you right now. So this could be anybody, could be family, could be a lover, soulmate, twin flame. Someone might literally be lying on a couch, just, you know, lying on a couch, looking out the window, thinking of you. It could be at night time and it could be this masculine or it could be a feminine, whoever it might be. It could be family, children, uh, anyone, but they're thinking of you very deeply. They're thinking about, what are they thinking about here? So Taurus, grounded, determined, loyal. So I feel like this person is very loyal to you and they want to prove that to you, their loyalty. And there could be someone who is very reliable that you can depend upon to come in and... Wow, did you just see that? That was bizarre. That was amazing. Oh, wow. After the premiere, okay, if you're in the premiere, go and see that because that was amazing. That was confirmation. You have people around you who are here, or this person especially, who wants to come in and be a strong rock for you. They want to keep you grounded. They want to help you. They are very grounded themselves, very loyal and determined to uh, let you know. And it's almost like they're quiet, like they're silent, like they're a quiet... Uh, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, <clears throat> they're a strong rock, but they're not necessarily someone who's very loud and in your face forcing things to happen like they're just there if you need them to be there oh yes look the angel of strength is coming in i love this this is like the leo energy and this is showing me that this is the bravery coming through the courage you know angels are coming through to help you have strength and courage during this week if there are challenges or some kind of grief you might be feeling at the moment maybe you're not feeling good about yourself or your life um, questioning things spirit is coming in to let you know that you are a strong powerful being this is just temporary okay whatever it is you're going through the garden and the gate now some of you might be getting out in the garden and some of you might be feeling a little bit too close to home like you want to venture out but you feel a little bit safer at home and it could just be that, you know, sometimes, and I know I'm definitely a hermit, I'm a homebody. <laughs> I'm very introverted in a lot of ways. And, you know, sometimes you'll get invites to things and you'll think, oh, I really want to go out, but should I? And you just kind of tend to stay in the comfort and, you know, your familiar uh, zone. So it's saying, you know, if you do get an invite, go out. I know I'm going out today from an invite I had, and I don't normally go many, to many places at all. I don't really need to go out much. Um, but you know, you get an invite from somebody and you go because amazing new opportunities can arise from that as well. So it could be that at the moment you really do want to be alone, um, in your own zone, in your own company, but it's saying it's okay to just venture out and have a good day, you know, give yourself, um, allow someone to come in and, and maybe even spoil you or take you out for lunch. 
you know, or just invite you to somewhere and just allow yourself to go and have some fun. And it's so funny how both uh, two different cards, right? This is my card. This is the energy card. And they're both wearing these beautiful pink dresses. So it could be that some of you might want to get dressed up in a nice pink dress. I mean, a lot of you in the Northern Hemisphere are in springtime right now. So it is about, you know, it is about wanting to get out. It is about um, enjoying the scenery around you. Um, in parks, you know, and within your own garden, of course. But I feel like it's about getting out in nature as well, getting out in the sunshine um, with friends, you know. I feel like there's a need to be with somebody. Um, even if a lot of you feel like you want to be alone, there's still this, like, deeper need to connect um, with somebody as well. So it could just be one other person. might be this masculine uh, or feminine. Take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, it could definitely be somebody who is like a romantic connection, you know, kind of blossoming here. And maybe for some of you, you haven't been in the dating scene for a long time and you're kind of thinking, oh God, I'm so scared about this. I've got nerves and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But it's just about, you know, a new experience and it could be the love of your life, you know, coming in for some of you who, if, if it is a new person. So let's have a look here. I don't know why I grabbed these cards today, but let's have a look. Now I think I know why, because we're going to be looking at the energy around you, but we could also see the energy around this person that we're talking about, okay? What do we need to know? Look at the sun. It's telling you to get out in the sun, and it's saying your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. But when I see this, I'm thinking of sunlight. I'm thinking of getting out in the sun no matter where you are. We're in autumn here, so it's getting really cold now. But there have, has been some beautiful sunny days, and I get out in it. So if you need to get out in it, get out in the sunshine, because that's when things are going to make you feel really good about yourself. I don't know about you, but I love the sun. And I love getting out under it and just feeling the warm rays, and it does actually make me feel happy. Oh my god, look at this. Then we got the moon. Oh my god, this is so funny. We got the sun and the moon. So you could be working with both energies. It's almost like it's time to shine in the daytime. Get out there and get out in your garden or just get outside and, and yeah, just get outside and get some fresh air, get the sunshine. And then at night time is when you can do your reflective um, journaling. You can be introspective. You can think about things. You can, it's more intuitive this way as well. Um, you might be opening up intuitively, having really vivid dreams. Um, but it's also a very strong manifesting time for you to sit down and write down what it is that you do want. And on a full moon, writing down the things you want to release. And this is also the balance between the masculine and feminine energies here within yourself as well. It's the light and the dark aspect of ourselves. We don't want to be getting too much into the dark, the dark, you know, dwelling in and sinking deep into our darkness. Uh, we want to be able to bring the light into that and just, yeah, weigh up things as well. We want to bring light onto situations we need to heal and, and all those kinds of things as well. But we also have the right to not, you know, it's good to look into things and do our shadow work and things like that, but it's also good to just keep it light, you know, and be able to be free and be happy and do things that make us happy and go to a music event or, you know, go listen to a live uh, music at a cafe or a local pub or a festival out in the park, whatever it is, you need to just maybe get out there and just be amongst it. Um, you know, and yeah, I feel like that's something that could be good for your soul this week. Yeah, confront the shadows. <laughs> See that? Confront that emotional storm. You don't have to dwell in it. You don't have to worry about it, but just confront it and say, I know you're here and I know this is stressing me out, but it's not going to rule my life. It's just temporary. And there might be some things that you're questioning loyalty with. You know, you might be um, doubting yourself even. You know, can you can you cope with something? Can you confront something? Isn't it interesting they've both got their backs to us? So it could be that you just got to be careful. You're not, you know, uh, put. what am I saying? Turning your back on someone who is loyal because we did see the loyal energy here as well. So there could be someone who is very loyal coming, well, into your life. Um, and there's lots of communication that's happening right now. So it could be over technology, internet, social messaging, uh, that kind of thing as well. So the Gemini Virgo energy. And we've got Capricorn. So the energy around you is serious, materialistic and hardworking. So some of you have been really just going uphill, okay? Step by step trying to get to the top. It's time to have a break and let your hair down. And the seventh house is all about long-term 
significant partners. So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, oh, look at that, Libra. The energy is diplomatic and gracious. This is harmony and balance in your relationships. It's being the seventh house right here is amazing. So it could definitely be talk around romance, relationships, harmony, seeing eye to eye with somebody, and definitely could be romantic. Um, so I feel like that's quite beautiful. A lot of you are connecting with... A loved one like a romantic partner over text um, they might be messaging you out of the blue uh, or phoning you um, yeah or it could just be a date online dating social uh, social circles friendships you know groups that you might be doing like meetups and stuff uh, that looks really amazing so if that's something you're not doing it looks like for a lot of you that spirit is saying get out there amongst it you know it's amazing things to be learning people to be connecting with and there could be an amazing opportunity for you it doesn't have to be romantic it could be a business partnership for you whatever it might be um, but for a lot of you it is romantic and yeah just being able to Work on your self-esteem a little bit that no matter what's going on in your life that may be a challenge, it doesn't define you. Um, you're much better than that and you can overcome it and the angels are coming in to give you strength to deal with something. Some of you might want to go and buy a new outfit as well to go out with. So, wow, guys, this is so beautiful. I hope this has resonated. If it hasn't, there's always other ones to look at in the playlist. And I hope you have a really good week. And if this is happening for you, I want to hear about it. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings.